Okay, this is Earl Andrews of www.nettyelectronics.com and I'm, today I am testing, it's July 5th, 2018, I'm testing these, this is 20 of these 2N3553 RF transistors are commonly used as QRP radio transistors, low power drivers, uh, RF uh, transistors. So those are the 20 I got in from a distributor in China. And I'm doing a comparison measurement at 26 megahertz using my CB radio that I have equipped with sockets. There's uh, uh, the resolution isn't that good but I'll put some uh, high resolution pictures at the end of this video. I'll tag them on. And there are something I use as a, a benchmark of the old RCA transistors. These are oldies. I, I think they might be from the 1970s. They've got oxide on them. Well that's good because I scraped the oxide off. Now here's some other transistors I got off eBay. These are I'll send a put a picture of this on after. They're smaller in physical size. The, the, the blower profile can. They seem to be not bad. Maybe a little not as much RF power out as a full size 3553. So I haven't been selling them. Because I sell transistors and stuff but I test them. And if they don't meet my standards I don't sell them. So here it is. I'm going to turn the radio on. The, the supply voltage I'm using is 12.9 volts with a variable power supply to this uh, CD here. Turned it on. Hit the transmit button. Now I've got to be brief with these tests because I don't have a heat sink on. There, it's about one watt. Pretty close to it. Now I'm going to switch over. Turn my CB off switch over to one of these so-called 2N3553s that are from China or I'm saying China I don't know for sure but I think the distributors in China I don't know where they make them exactly now the pinouts here the emitter collector base and those little pins I've rigged up on this circuit board that mounts on the side of this CB. So there it is in place. There's the new one in place. Excuse the shaking. I have a little tremor. Try transmitting and you can see it's only about half of what the other one was, if that. So it's all about about uh, 500 milliwatts. You expect a good walk out of these transistors. And I transmit I don't transmit for long periods of time. Just quick test. Now I'm going to try this other. I'll have to set this down. I'm going to try this other transistor, which is the low profile cans that I got off eBay. They seem to be not bad. Their output is respectable. I'm going to transmit. Oh, there it is. It's up around one watt, which is about the same as the these old RCA ones I have. So what I'm going to do is take the, I'm going to test more of them and uh, I, I got a sneaking suspicion they're all low output about half of what they should be basically at 26 megahertz and they're all going to, I'm going to tell the eBay seller that uh, they're no good. So now I've been uh, talking to people uh, about uh, RF people who work fixing ham radio transceivers and one in particular who's quite good at it in Ontario here and he has nothing good to say about those uh, transistors coming out of China the RF ones, the, you know the 1, 2 and 3 watt ones that are used as drivers those are the ones I buy for QRP and for CB repairs and experimentation and his opinion is they're they're no good at all so uh, I found some that are good but 
Uh, I think it's a slow process. They're, I don't know what, how they're building these things and testing them, but they still are not consistent in any way. So that's my video for today. Uh, I sell uh, parts at uh, www.nettyelectronics.com and I test them. And the only thing I can't test is very complex ICs, but uh, quite a few ICs I can test with my IC tester. Here it is here on the bench. I test ICs using this tester, and this is out of China. China built some good stuff, don't get me wrong. They're, I buy test equipment from China. Little testers they make off eBay, 30, 40 bucks, 30 bucks, 20 bucks even, and they're good. But RF transistors just do not seem to be up to snuff. So that's my video for today. Thank you very much.